So I'm out front of 8 Mariners Lane, 3 bedroom, 2 bath, 1977 square feet on the market for 549. It's been on the market for 5 days, well 6 days, I printed this yesterday. Um, built in 2006. So we have a, well let me back up here, there, there we go. Really nice um, hardy plank, so cement and board, siding, great details with the shake above, 2 car garage. Um, looks like it's in nice shape. You've got a little paint that we're going to have to address, you know, but at this price point, I think they have priced this house correctly. And it does have a big, beautiful back, um, grassy backyard, which I will show you in a moment. So you enter through the front door, nice glass detail. My camera is picking this up as very lime. It is not. It is definitely more avocado and then pale green with cream trim. Um, composite deck, like a Trex deck and um, vinyl railing here. You enter with a nice big entryway and they have it as an office library. It could also be as a sitting room. There is a, here is the entrance from the garage. It's got a little extra depth to it, but it is a standard two-car garage other than that extra depth. They've only been parking one car in it. As I said, there is some paint that's going to need to be done, and that kind of runs throughout the whole um, inside of the house. Definitely could use some cleaning and some um, touch-up paint. All the trim could be painted. Definitely could use a good coat of paint in here, but nice vaulted, huge ceilings, you know, makes this room, this entry feel very inviting and very large. There is a coat closet, a double coat closet here off the entryway, nice and deep, good size, two closet doors there. And into the living room, which does have a really nice little wainscoting detail with some, um, well, I don't know if it's probably painted wall, like a wall um, paper almost, but really nice, huge vaulted ceilings, beautiful hardwood floors throughout, real hardwood floors. And then the open kitchen, which is really lovely to a dining area, not really a formal dining room in this house, but um, great dining area there. This is granite tile. Not a solid slab, but granite tile. Double sink in the island. Stainless steel appliances. Really nice um, real wood cabinetry. Um, but this was before soft close drawers, but I have seen some really great things that you can do to make them soft close afterwards. So that's very easy to install. Uh, dishwasher in the island here next to the sink. A pantry cupboard here with nice pullouts, nice trim work on the top of all the cabinetry. This is an electric or maybe an induction range, probably induction. And then um, almost everything in Oregon or in, on the coast is electric. We have some of the cheapest electric in the state of Oregon. We pay about seven cents a kilowatt hour here in Florence. So this connects back out to that office entryway there. Really nice um, new stainless steel LG refrigerator. So now we're gonna go outside so you can see the backyard. There's a little door and a little tiny porch off the dining room area with steps. This is on city water and city sewer. But there is a lovely, lovely, very nice, very private back door, I mean backyard. Let's see if I can talk this morning. Backyard here. There is a slider off the master, which I was going to go out, but it is needs to be cleaned. So I kind of get the screen door open. So that's why I used the other door. But very nice, very, very, very private Um fully fenced on this side to your neighbors, which are Dr. Holmes and his wife. Very, very nice couple, live right there. 
um, small town, so we know all these things, but really a very, very private, wind-protected backyard, which is a huge thing in Florence. This um, is facing probably a little northeast, so you're going to get a little north wind through here, but with all these trees around you, you are definitely going to get some wind protection. As you can see, it's windy up there, and it is not windy down here where I am. So we will head back inside the house. And I did get um, the scoop on where these folks are going today when I was at the gym. So I will text you that information. Um, really nice um, top down, top up, bottom down, bottom up, top down blinds which are really nice to have, because if you want, you can take them down, and then you can just open the top, which will let the light in, but give you all that privacy. But as I said, all the trim could use a good painting in here. So through here, we have the three bedrooms and the laundry room. This is zonal heating, so every room has its own little unit with its own, um, Thermometer, very popular in the early 2000s. We have um, a good size laundry room here with tile floors. Then we have the full family bath, tile counter, tile floors, and then a fiberglass shower tub surround and a linen closet. And down the hall and this hall I do want to point out is nice and wide really nice and wide hall which is very nice but once again we definitely need to do some painting on all of the trim at least if not just a good inside paint job in general um, bedroom number one the larger of the two extra bedrooms um, that hardwood floor does continue in here so do the blinds Really nice, good size. This is a queen size bed, and you can see there's plenty of room on each side of those. And a nice, deep, large closet here. They are definitely packing, which is good. We like sellers that are packing. And then the second of the extra bedrooms, this is the smaller of the two. They have it set up as an office, but same size, good size closet here. And then this one does have the great little trim detail throughout. And once again, those hardwood floors run throughout the entire house. And here is the primary suite. Once again, good size room. That vault continues in here. Nice um, size walk-in closet with tons of storage going all the way up. And they utilize the vertical space there very well. Here's that great view, as I was saying, out onto that beautiful backyard. And we will spin you around to the primary bathroom. Large, large soaking tub here with the tile surround, tile flooring, and dual sink vanity. A nice size fiberglass shower and then a little toilet room with storage there. So that about wraps us up on 8 Mariners Lane. It's a beautiful home. I know a family, um, a contractor used to live here, and I'm going to go back and look through the county records and see if he actually built this home. It would not surprise me with the detailing that is here if he did. I do want to point out these final detailings of all the trim. It's really quite lovely.